Hi, my name is Kim Goldtom, and I'm a certified master wellness coach through the International Association of Wellness Professionals, as well as a certified workplace wellness ambassador through the Workplace Wellness Center of Excellence, as well as the founder of the Empowered Living for Superwomen program. I am so excited to be here with you today and to talk with you about ways to ground yourself and specifically when it comes to food. So you ready? <laughs> so what does grounding mean anyway? Because if you've been following me on YouTube or Instagram for a while, you've heard me use this term off and on. And so I want to make sure I'm clear when I say grounding, what that means. So grounding means to be present, aware of everything that's happening in your space right now. When we're worried, we're usually in the past or we're in the future. But when we're just present in the here and now, we're grounded, we're centered, we're focused, we're clear, ideas, creative juices start flowing. So being grounded is a great place to be and to really launch, continue to keep momentum, right, throughout your day when you're grounded. Because when you're grounded, you feel like, oh my gosh, I can take on the world. Life is amazing. You really can. Being grounded gives us this internal strength as well as this physical stamina and strength. Because just think about for just one moment, how much time do you lose worrying about the past, worrying about the future? But if you can just be present in the moment, there's nothing to worry about because we're in the moment. It hasn't, nothing's happening yet. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. It's here now, <laughs> right? Oh, so it frees yourself in such a way. And there's a few different things you can do to really help ground yourself. And so I want to share with you ways you can ground yourself from what you're eating. Wow. So just think about that for a moment. The foods you eat can help you to stay grounded or woo, they can <laughs> cause you to feel all over the place, right? Think about sugar. I think this is probably the best example that most people are familiar with. If you have sugar, what happens? You're like feeling <laughs> right? You get this super energy high. And then depending upon each person um, and their body type and what's going on, you have a crush. So you have a high and then you have a crash. And then your body might say, hey, I need to have another cookie. <laughs> and then you have another high and then you have another crash, right? And so when you have highs and crashes and highs and lows, right, you don't feel grounded because you're over here and then you're over here and then you're over here and then you're over here, you get the, the idea. But what if you had food that could create a more stable balance in your body, stable blood sugar, right? Makes you just feel present in the moment. So that's what I want to talk about right now. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is obviously um, reducing sugar because that's going to create the most ups and downs and create you to not be as physically embodied, emotionally embodied in the moment. So what's the second thing? Root vegetables. Guess what? <laughs> They grow underground. <laughs> oh my gosh, just think about everything in this planet that we live on and how everything is connected. And that's one of the reasons why I love holistic wellness in general is because of all the different connections, everything really is connected. And think about it, when something grows, it's absorbing the nutrition, the energy, the vibration, the whatever you wanna call it of that space where it grows, right? Scientists have proven that if you talk to a plant, the plant will do well. If you say mean things to the plant, <laughs> it won't do as well, right? Um, if you're talking happy things to the plant, it does well and does better than plants that are left alone, ignored, and not spoken to or spoken badly to. So, wow. Just imagine what are our, what is our, you know, food supply 
out there in the farms growing? What are, what is that experiencing? Right? So it's getting the nutrition, obviously, but that from the sun, from whoever the farmer is, whoever is taking care of the plants. But then of course, there's that soil concentration and everything that goes into the earth. The earth is connected to all of us. We all are standing on the earth, regardless of what city, state, or country that we may or may not be in. So when you think about that from a different perspective, those root vegetables, wow, they are so grounded in that soil, in the earth. So when you're eating root vegetables, you feel more grounded and centered. See how you feel after you eat a carrot <laughs> or a potato, <laughs> right? Just be mindful. How does that feel? It's amazing how it can just ground you and center you. Something else I wanted to share about grounding from the kitchen. <laughs> Water, right? A lot of people will go and they'll stare at the ocean. They'll stare. It's one of the reasons why people love going to the beach so much. The water is just very soothing and calm. Oh my gosh. And so if you think about that, you take that soothing and calm energy, water, and you drink it. You've just put this calming mindfulness of presence into your body. And again, water comes from the earth, right? So again, it's another earthing element that you can use to embrace, to feel more grounded. So why would I be sharing some of these things? Well, first of all, it's, it's nice to be mindful of. Um, and as we are so busy in society these days, and for some of us, even more than ever before, you know, having a, a bag of carrots to snack on, you know, having a glass of water to hydrate, but also to ground us, right? Having these different layers that we can have in the workplace, we can have at home, we can have as we're going out on a, on a road trip, on a hike, on a, a plane trip, they help with grounding us. And the more you feel grounded, the more joyful, and happy and vibrant you feel, but then also the more focused and clear you feel at work and at home in your personal life with your family, with your friends. That's just powerful. So those are my three tips that I wanted to share with you today about how to get grounded in the kitchen. So I hope these help you. And for additional uh, free wellness videos, uh, definitely subscribe to my channel, as well as check out my website for other videos um, where I've been on other platforms sharing wellness throughout this journey. So here's to wishing you a grounded and wonderful, happy day. Take care. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.